I gotta tighten up. This guy is like... Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back or to the channel and thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. In this video, myself and Brent are going out and we're looking to catch some snook on live bait or pretty much anything we can catch on live bait. We've been using a lot of shrimp lately, but we want to spice things up. So hopefully we get pinfish or greenbacks or grunts or some sort of fish live bait. And the goal is just to go out and hopefully slay it. So you guys are going to want to stick around for it. Check out Brent's channel. As always, I'll leave it down in the description and I'll see you guys out on the water. All right, guys, we got some greenbacks. We're flipping some docks. Hopefully we can get on some big snook with Brent. We've got 30 pound leader, 15 pound braid, seven foot medium, heavy star rod stellar light and a 3000. So hopefully we can land some big snook today. There's, dude, there's no way they're not underneath the, sh like the shade over there. There's no way. We can pitch up against that seawall too. I got eight, I got eight. There you go, there you go. He's running. Okay. Good, good fish. Okay. Good fish. Right on the seawall? Yep, right on the seawall. That's a good fish. Good. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, so the seawall was the move. This is a good, dude, this is a good fish. It's gonna be a while. Okay. Oh, we're about to spook one right here. Dude, there's three of them right here. Pitch to him, pitch to him, pitch to him. I already put my bait in the level. Oh, dude, there's a Bertha right here. Oh, right here, right here, right here. I oh, spooked, he spooked. I got a little like 30. Look, you see him? Do you see him following mine? Look, 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 look. Oh my God. Do you see that one? I have a 30 and there's like a 40 right here. Dude, he's chasing mine. He's gone. I gotta tighten up. This guy is like, dude, where was that energy when I had you out in the middle? He's beating you now. Yeah, really? I hope I didn't spook too many. Loosen up more. Like I said, usually when they get close, you want to loosen up so that if they turn their head real quick and go, you have some lighter drag to account for that, like right there. Come here. Come here. Hold on, I got it. It's like a 29. 29 that's, that's not bad that was uh right up on the seawall with that big greenie hook was right in the corner right where it's supposed to be there we go there we go okay not bad it's probably that's probably gonna measure what 29 30 i'm gonna guess 29 30 i'm gonna go 28 28 cool 28 and a half 28 oh right we are right literally we're right on we're good at this we've been in this for a good amount of time it's not bad She's biting down hard. All right, go ahead, get out of here. You get bigger. Sweet. Awesome. That's a good start. So first thing you do after you catch a snook like that, even little ones, big ones, it doesn't really matter. You want to check the line. So right here, starting where the knot is, about five inches up the line, maybe even more than that, probably about six inches of line, is all just really, really chafed up from their teeth. So we're just going to cut off about six inches and retie the hook on. Nice fresh line, no nicks, no scratches. And then we're tying a loop knot. I don't know why, but for some reason I like tying a loop knot. It gives it a little bit more freedom of the circle hook. So that's what I'm doing. Just go right through the little loop there, wrap it around, and there we go. Got all fresh line now. 3-0 circle hook and some giant greenies. These are very big greenies that we sabikied this morning. These guys right here are gonna get crushed. So stick around guys, let's get to it. What are we thinking? Make an advance in about a, couple, like a minute or two? And not not like go past that dock because yeah, I no. feel like they'll be on the right of that dock and on the left. Oh, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. There you go. There oh, you go. okay, okay. Um, he's a little close to that dock. Remember how I said uh, I wanted something I couldn't handle? <laughs> uh, he's coming out, it looks like. That was a pretty cool jump. Yeah, no, he went, for you. okay. He hasn't even, he hasn't even made a run yet, which is kind of scaring me because we're coming up on this dock right here. Yeah, he's, uh, no, it's actually, dude, it's smaller. I think, yeah, it's smaller. And not, not a bad snook at all, but not, not 28 and a half. It's probably like 25, 27, maybe? 27. 27? Okay, okay. 
I'll tell you what though, when they're this size, they're very acrobatic and they don't like to give up very easily. You're getting the stroke, I'm getting the reds. Yeah, what, you got two? Oh, oh, no. oh you, he said oh, psych. No. He said psych. You thought. <laughs> Dude, he saw that net. He was like, let me just, let me just, let me just juke quick. that out real quick. <laughs> there she is. Dude, two snook, let's go, let's go. Kind of crazy. That's, dude, what You're is, killing you the hooked, right now. You hooked two reds, yep, I've hooked two snook. Yep. That's crazy. 26, you're saying? Yep, I'm gonna go 25. 25 on the dot. There you go. Sniped it. There we go. Second snook of the day. I'm not gonna complain if we're catching these guys all day. This is awesome. There he goes. Dude, two snook in less than like a half hour. Let's keep at it. They're smoking greenies today. So we're just hooking the greenies right through the nose. That's like the toughest spot, I think. It's like cartilage, so it kind of just sinks in their nose, sticks in there good. And then you can reel them without dragging them or anything. So they can still swim really freely. We're gonna toss it up against the seawall and finish these docks right here. And hopefully we can pull up another good redfish or snook because Brent just got a 23 inch red. Yep. 23 inch red after I got a 28 and a half inch snook. So we're obviously doing something right with these greenies. So let's get to it. Uh, she's minty now. She's, she's minty now. A little disgusting. A little bit. Are we just both miss fishing? Like, ah, uh, dude, I don't even know. What's going on with yours? I don't know. But yeah, mine before. Oh, okay. No way. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good one. Uh, yup. Yup. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. I'm gonna loosen the hole. Okay. I'm gonna loosen up because that's just an important fish. Okay. Look at the net. Okay, thank you. Please do not have off. We do not want to continue this streak. We're losing. Oh, dude, he's an acrobat. Oh, man. We're on him right now. Yeah, we are. Dude, my drag is so tight. It's a good fit. Wow. Oh, well. I was not expecting that. Glad we came back. Why we came? This is why we came Why do we leave? Why do we leave? Place. Hey guys, I bet you weren't expecting that. Hopefully I didn't scare anybody. So real quick, because there was no GoPro audio on this clip, I just want to do a quick voiceover. I do apologize. I know it sucks not to have any audio, but it is what it is. It was a good snook and I had a blast. Brent and I landed this last snook towards the end of the day. It was very, very out of nowhere pretty much. We came back to the spot after trying a couple different spots and threw out another green back and same as, same as the two snook before this, it got smoked about five minutes in. About a 27 inch snook, so can't be mad about that. It's a great way to end the day. And back to the audio. Let's see if she's ready. Get out of here. Oh, there she is. Sweet, that's awesome. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching the video. As always, drop a comment, leave a like, and subscribe if you guys are new. I appreciate all the support from you guys. You guys are killing it. But before I do end the video, I do want to feed Moose because he's hungry as well as the other bass. So let's get to it. All right, we got the shad. We got bass number one, bass number two. I don't know if you guys can see them, but they're there. He didn't even think about it. I don't even know which one got it. Let me see if I can get down here. Hey, that's my foot, dude. Come on, you know you want it. All right, fine. Oh my gosh. I hope I got that. I kind of flinched a little bit. <laughs> 